up, Padawans? What's up, Padawans? What's up, Padawans? What's up, Afro Joke? Then I can do your mortal rules when you use. Now you see these two ladies sitting up on here, Kristen Banks and Boomer Star. Now Boomer Star goes by another name called Booty Star. And Kristen's got another name too, Kristen Love. Somebody already talked about Kristen. Chats sites. And I don't mean Twitch. Just only Twitch, but both these young ladies are cam girls. I did a video years ago talking about cam girls, why do cam girls da 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 so it's more like prostitution in a way, but it's on the cam, but that's not like no, it's not prostitution, it's just stripping on cam. But it's funny how both these young ladies are on cam sites getting hooked up with getting paid they got their clothes and do sexual acts and they come over to the YouTube side and it makes me wonder what is going on with them cam sites to make these ladies go from taking off their clothes to doing YouTube videos it makes you think and I noticed ever since this Booty Star, or aka Boomer Star, has came to YouTube. She's got nothing but big followings. Now, it's funny how women who post stuff on YouTube like this get more views than anybody else, but they don't get the hookup like well known YouTube. It makes you wonder why. I did a YouTube video. I, I, that's, hold on, I put a pin in there about the question. Now, here's one thing. Here. Now, that's, now, that's a good question. What made them leave them sites just to come over to YouTube? That's one question. Why don't they get hooked up like any other YouTuber? I never seen Kristen things in a what, uh, YouTube Rewind or she got a uh, YouTube play button or nothing and they get views like crazy but one thing about it is are they denied the same kind of treatment as any other big well known name YouTubers is it that YouTubers YouTubers looking down upon them saying that they're that they're not YouTube material just because they got big titties is that what it is now I've actually did a video talking about if I did interview porn stars with different no hardly no views on it but these ladies can sit up here wearing some tight clothes and bam get all the fucking views they want hey come on now I think I know what it is it's flashing up the titties flashing up the booty and they get views just like that but when I say let me interview them, crickets is all I y'all. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not passing judgment on these ladies because, hey, man, who wouldn't do these ladies? Who wouldn't date these? Who wouldn't sleep with them? Who wouldn't love to have a one-night stand with these ladies? Fellas, I know you can agree with me. A lot of y'all probably would, but the question is, but the main question is, what made cam girls decide to leave the cam sites and come to YouTube? That is the main question. What made these two stop going to cam sites and say, you know what, I don't want to do cam sites no more. I don't want to do cam sites no more. And it makes you question, what made them leave? Is it because they're not making money off of it like they used to? Is it because... They're tired of checking their ass for tokens. Is it because the sites are taking half the profit and they get left with hardly shit? So they decided to come over to the YouTube site and earn some money. Is that what it is? And then, I think so. I think so. I think that's what it is. I think they get 
they got tired of coming to doing them with the campsites and decided to come over to the YouTube side to earn some good money. I wonder how many more. How many more are going to leave them campsites to come over to the YouTube side? I wonder. That's a good question. I know a lot of y'all are going to say, hey man, give me the link so I can subscribe to their channel. Hold up, hold up. I told you tonight, go look it up. But you on my channel, paying attention to what I'm saying. I'm not discriminating, I'm not hating. I would love to sit down with these ladies and interview them. Oh, I bet y'all would love that. Me, Afro, Joe, the Wookiee, sitting down with these two ladies and interviewing them and asking them what made them decide to leave them camps that would make them decide to stop taking off their clothes in front of the camp in front of the camp and decide to become YouTubers because there's plenty of sites porn sites of videos of these ladies like after Joe how do you know hey man I do my job I do my job I get I go where the information goes I go where the wind blows but it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's the main question. What made them decide to leave campsites to come to YouTube? Is this a new era where cam girls are getting sick and tired of shaking their ass for campsites like Chatter Bay for Cam, Cam Fuse, and so on and so forth? So YouTube is the next place to come and do a sh make easy money because I can tell you both of them get, get a shit ton of views like this Boma star when she came on she's getting she's got like thousand views in an hour and that's how it is she gets like a thousand views an hour just because she wear tight clothes it's like I said man some of the videos I looked at, I thought it was kind of strange. That's like this boom, a star girl wears tight clothes and she sits up there and gets over a thousand views in a minute. And all she does is have shave a guy's back, wax his face, whatever, and gets a thousand views in a minute. If a guy like a PewDiePie said he was going to wax his back, nobody would watch, but if she said she was going to wax a hairy guy's back, she gets get some thousand views. She's only got over a thousand subscribers, and I'm sitting up there and said, is people that fascinated with titties? Is that what it is? Is people that fascinated with And it makes me question, is that, is that what it is? Is that how, what we come to where did women who actually wear tight clothes It's, it's, it makes you wonder it's like is that what it is is, is, is that how it is going to be where some of these females that have been on it, YouTube for so long has to wear tight clothes and show their titties and their ass just to get views like I've seen a lot of YouTube female YouTubers that doesn't do that and they can earn their views they earn their subscribers but these two can wear tight clothes and get views like that it makes you question if you're a young if you're a YouTuber, female YouTuber, and you're doing YouTube videos and you're not dressing like they are, does it piss you off that they get more views than you? Does it piss you off where they're getting all these people to watch them? And I'm sitting up here and looking at some of the comments she's getting. And it's like nothing but people, some of the people sitting up there leaving comments saying, like there's one that says uh, just found out Obama is a transsexual she still has a penis I hooked her up with the other, the other night what a surprise when I find out 
That was two years ago. She's getting haters just like you two, and it makes you me question even more. Do you want to sit up on YouTube and catch this kind of hail that we catch every day? Does is that what you want? I say because us YouTubers catch hell every day. And that's what comes with the territory. And why should it be where some of these people it just it makes me question it's like really It just makes me question about this, huh? It's like, it's like, there's females on here that bust their ass to, to make a name for themselves on YouTube. And these two females, like I said, I'm not hating, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to make a point. To, for real, it's like, there's females out there that bust their ass to make, to make, view, get views. And these girls put on tight shirts, get in front of a camera, do a video, and upload up on YouTube, and make, get views just like that, just easy as pie. Just because they got big ass titties. I don't, like I said, I, I ain't hating on the titties. I don't hate, I love the titties. I just can't sit up there and I'm just questioning. When all the females out there that don't dress like they do, that don't put on tight clothes just to sit there and earn something just to get views or earn a paycheck from YouTube how do you feel about them doing this and getting a fatter check than YouTube getting more views than you and you're getting nothing but left in the dark so I'm asking Jenna Marbles I Justine Gina from Prank vs. Prank uh, Ali uh, so on and so forth I'm asking them too every female YouTuber how does it feel that these two females can sit there and put on some tight clothes and make more, get more views than you, get more subscribers than you, actually making it harder than, for you to actually earn that YouTube paycheck, to actually earn a spot up there with the big name, well known YouTubers. How does that make you feel? And for the fellas, it's like, do you justify that them doing this? That you are, like, I know I'm, like, it makes me question, it's like, damn, they fine as hell. But it makes me question how far did these girls gotta go just to make just to make that well known paycheck from YouTube? How does like how how far does how like cause I know some of the guys are gonna watch this say, Joe, you need to shut the fuck up about this shit. I said, No, it's just a question. You need to think about this. You bust your ass on these on these videos every day with the editing, with the recording, with the going out there and doing this and that this and that and you bust your ass to get your name out there and you can't hardly pull a lot of views but when these two females get on there they pull it like that man they just pulling it like it because what they do how they carry themselves on YouTube is this the new face of YouTube? Is this the new way of YouTube? They got the TOS out there saying we can't do the shit like this, but they allow it? Now tell me something that I'm missing. Something. And I still question what made these two females leave campsite? Campsites where they take off their clothes to come over to the YouTube site and it's like, I want to make YouTube money. These campsites, I can't make a dime. I'm, and it's like, Sit up and like you, you went on these campsites. You took your clothes off on them sites just to earn a paycheck from them sites. But you could have took the easy way around by just coming straight to YouTube and earning that paycheck. But that's how it is. And it makes me question: Is YouTube the new campsite? Is that's how it is? Is YouTube the new campsite? 
that's how it is. But I, I wanted to know what you think. You think it's fair for these girls to wear tight clothes and wear tight clothes and come up on YouTube and earn a fatter check than anybody else? I question that because I've seen people bust their ass over the years I've been on that cell. Bust the ass to make something, make a name for themselves, but these girls can come on just like they dress. And they come on YouTube and they make, it just makes me question, makes me wonder, it says, how to, it makes me wonder, it says, why would you, I'm tongue tied on this. It's like they come to, just tell me what you think. Tell me things, if you like this video, hit them thumbs up. Hit, hit the thumbs up. Go check out Master on that thumb. Yoda, Yoda, that shit. Chewbacca, that wookie, that shit. <laughs> Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Is it fair that they can wear these tight ass clothes and come up on YouTube and pull views while you gotta bust your ass recording, editing, and uploading and waiting for those views to roll in? You think this is fair? And y'all, is it fair for us that you can't pull, that you think it's fair? That's why I'm wondering, is it fair for them just to do that? I said they can do anything they want, but you think is it fair for them to put on some tight ass clothes and pull your more numbers than you and you busting your ass for a month trying to pull some numbers or a week or a day or an hour or a year or something, not alone? It makes you question. I was like, I can say Boma, or AKA Booty Star. She does do shows on Chatterbait. You can probably look up her name, Booty Star, up on Google and find a shit ton of videos. But just tell me what you think down in the comment section. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Tumblr, subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Like I said, it's, all, it's better to be a Jedi than a Sith Lord. Bring down with the wiki or dick in the booty ass. Peace, love.